Pinya fiber is a fiber extracted from the leaves of the pineapple plant. Although these leaves are often thrown away and considered as organic waste, researchers from the Philippine Textile Research Institute believe this material show great qualities for textile production. Pinya fiber um, is finer so compared to other natural fibers like abaca and banana. One of the distinguishing characteristics of pinya fiber or pineapple fiber is, is the uh, fineness of the fiber that is obtained. The research on pinya fibers, specifically the ones that is utilized for spinning of yarn, started in PTRI for decades already. Something in 1995, we started um, investigating different natural fibers as a substitute or as a complement to cotton to produce yarns. As of today, there are still pineapple farmers who don't know of the extra income they could make by selling these leaves. Wala pa ang nakapagano sa akin kasi. Wala pa. There are two ways of extracting pinya fiber. The traditional fiber extraction process. They soak the leaves for 10 to 14 days to soften it and then start hand scraping it using a soft plate. They gather these fibers and leave them under the sun to dry. They then start knotting each to form a continuous line or thread of pinya fiber. Afterwards, they warp or spin this long thread of pinya fiber to prepare it for hand weaving. The industrial extraction process. The leaves go straight into the decorticating machine, a fiber extraction machine which consists of a motor and many blades. Once dried under the sun, these fibers go into the mechanical fiber softening machine and then later into a water or chemical bath to soften and clean the fibers. Afterwards, the treated fiber is run through a cutting machine which cuts it into 1-2 to two inches in length, making it ready to be combined with either cotton or polyester to make yarn. Pinya fabric is often embroidered by hand, which is what the people at the Lumban Embroidery Association Multipurpose Cooperative in Laguna do. Nag-start ako magborda elementary. Mismo yung tita ko ang siyang nagtuturo doon sa mga gusto mag-aral na mga kabataan. Maliliit pa mga bata tinuturoan na niya hanggang sa lumalaki sila na marunong. Simula ako, pitong taon lang ako nagsimula na akong magborda. Hanggang ngayong 87, nagbo-borda pa din ako. According to Ms. Rosita, their customers aren't only in the Philippines, but in other countries as well. Marami, meron na din kami mga sa ibang bansa na customer. Hindi lang dito sa Manila, meron din sa ibang bansa. Iba-iba kasi yung lumalabas na pinya fiber. Meron banana fiber, meron din original na pinya, meron pinya silk. Kung patuloy na ma-improve yan, talagang um, ano, dire-direcho na maganda ang magiging resulta. They have been in this business for many years now, and upon asking if this business is decreasing and should creative entrepreneurs invest in it, this is what they had to say. Hindi bumababa, tumataas pa, hindi bumababa. Pagkakataon na din ng isang negosyante na magkaroon ng puhunan. Kasi pag nabigyan ka ng, ne ng negosyong ganyan, talagang uunla, dire-direcho ang... Pagtaas ng pinya. Kalibu Aklan has plenty of pinya businesses including La Herminia Pinya Weaving Industry. The La Herminia kasi established 1996 but yung pinya weaving industry is nag-start siya before the Spaniards pa. It's all hand embroidery kasi pag machine madaling masira yung tela. For Sir Pat, they are currently experiencing problems in the pinya industry. Ang problema lang ngayon it's because of uh, ang daming demand, kulang ang supply. Nawawalan tayo ng weavers, nawawalan tayo ng natters. Dahil nga, yung mga tao, ayaw na nila magtrabaho. Pinya fiber is a sustainable and versatile material. And when asked if this material has room for innovation, this is what they said. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not sure if you are familiar about pinya text or the vegetable leather. So that is one innovation that is capitalized on utilizing pineapple waste, pineapple leaf fibers, and then converted it into a leather-like material. Sama-sama tayo ni Amar. Industry ang ito, likang pinya.